In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for removing and reinstalling your vehicle's radiator. In this step, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for taking the retaining bolts out of our radiator and sliding it up out of the vehicle. This particular radiator has two retaining bolts, one here and one located over here. I'm going to go ahead and break those loose now. go and now for the next one now these bolts are not hardened and they tend to screw into either sheet metal or small retaining clips it may be necessary to apply some lubricant to them during the removal process Most radiators do not bolt down on the bottom. They sit in isolating rubbers. The radiator will be studded on the bottom and will just sit into some rubber cups on the core supports. All right, there we go. I'm take and slide the radiator out very carefully, making sure not to damage it. Right there. This piece here is your drain cock. So you can see it screws in and out just like that, and this is the tube it drains from. This is the port for your lower radiator hose. This is the port for your overflow tube. This is the port for the upper radiator hose. And these guys right down here on the other sides of my fingers are the lower clips that hold your fan shroud in place. Now that's the proper service procedure for removing your radiator. 